Hi guys. Things look a little different here. <laughs> Way on the floor. We're in the process of getting a new bed. And in our town today is, um, there's dumpsters. We live in a teeny tiny town. There's no big trash day, but we do have dumpsters twice a year where we can put, uh, throw away our big stuff. So it started today. So we got rid of like our old frame and box springs and things for our bed. So our mattress is just on the floor. A new um, tall frame is coming that we won't need a box spring. And we haven't ordered a mattress yet, but I think we're going to here in the next couple days. And um, I don't know what we're going to do with this current old mattress, but we've had this sucker for probably, I don't know, 12, 15 years. A long time. And I think it's just time to get a new one. So we are going to, I think, do that. And um, uh, anyway, so it looks a little different, but that's why, because my bed is gone for now. But like I said, we should be getting a new frame tomorrow so we can sleep back up at our normal spot. This is going to be really weird tonight, sleeping um, on the ground like this. I mean, not quite on the ground, but you know, so low. So this is, anyway, it's going to be a different type of video. Let me see here. I don't know if I prepped all that well. Um, and again, the camera angle's off, so maybe this one's even better. I don't know, but um, I have, I, I guess you could say sad in the Dolly world of, of news. Sad. It's not um, no actual, like, bad news. However, um, I did sell Greta. She was my Chloe sculpt that, um, by Kimberly Dolls, Chloe by Kimberly Dolls. She was the 14 inch, um, little, one of the two little girls I had. And I decided to sell her. Um, I, 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 again, I'm just changing up my collection, kind of downsizing again. I just haven't been into them as much. So I decided it was time to get rid of one of them at least. So she went out this week. Her new mom just got her today. So that is um, I'm good. She's everything's good there. She arrived safely. In the meantime, I got myself and my children also um, got me this. This is a new doll. This is a early Mother's Day present. Um, and the cool thing about this was we, my daughter and I, were able to go pick this up locally. She is moving out next week. It's coming fast. First of my kids to leave her first apartment. Um, so we were there in, in the town and in, in, in the town she's moving to doing some things with her new apartment and also meeting the um, lady that had this baby. So it was a pretty cool day to do, be able to do both of those things at the same time in the same location. So um, I, she, since I got her locally, there's no box opening because she was, you know, handed to me in a different blanket, but pretty much like this. So I am just going to show her to you. She's about, keep in mind, um, a six-year-old sculpt. So she is um, an older sculpt. It was one that when it came out, I was very interested in it. Um, at the time I was painting and I had thought maybe I would buy it and paint it for myself and I didn't. I don't remember why exactly I didn't, but I didn't. So I saw her come up again for sale locally and really, really um, enjoyed the pictures of her, the way she was painted. So uh, my kids had talked about something for Mother's Day, and I know that's a good couple weeks away yet, but <clears throat> she was for sale and available, and so I jumped on the chance to get her. Um, why have I been thinking about vinyl again? I don't know. Um, why am I getting tired of my little ones? I do know one thing, and I had mentioned, whoopsie, mentioned it before, that I really missed dressing a regular size or newborn size type doll because all my silicones were so tiny. So that's what she is. I think she's a bigger newborn. Um, so I'm just going to get her out here. There's one little pinky hand. She is covered, but I will take, there she is, some of her clothes off. I'm going to do my best to show, but being down this far, it's kind of tough for me to lift her. She does weigh probably a good five, six pounds. 
when she came, she was weighted at like seven and a half and it was just too heavy. I had to open her up. I took, she had a, she has a ball of weighting here and she had another one in her mid torso. I had to take that whole thing out. It was just too much. And then she came with no lashes. Sorry. I might, maybe I'll take the phone off, but um, I can do another video if, if anybody wants to see her closer when my new bed comes. Um, but anyways, I, or maybe I can do it. Maybe I can do it now. I don't know. I, I should redid her or um, gave her lashes because she had no lashes and I thought she really, oh, sorry guys, really needed them. But I am going to take off her little hat. This is one of the outfits I bought, gosh, a couple years ago. And um, it's uh, Kate Quinn. It's crossover, as you can see here. I really like those kind. It ties here. It's got little pants, footed pants, obviously. And I think I only had a couple dolls maybe ever put it on. But I like the style. It's super stretchy. Um, and it's got like little, in the fabric, a little, I don't know, I forget what you call that. But a little design. Other than these apples on it, it's got a design. And then the hat, super pretty. I love that color green. Matches the apples. So, like I said, it's never been, barely been worn at all and only by dolls. And um, I do find that Kate Quinn runs a little big. So, um, didn't fit the dolls I had very well. So anyway, she was, I think, sold as a 19 or 20 inch doll. Uh, she does have really bent legs, um, and she is at least that big. So, look at her. Look at her redness. Isn't she just adorable in her newborn redness? Look at that. She has painted hair. Again, if you want to see closer, I can do an, a different video. Um, honestly, her hair is not the best. It's not bad, but I've definitely seen better hair than this. But like I said, it's not bad. I do think it would be cute if someone were able to root over this, like full head root, but maybe lightly, not super like thick and give her actual hair. But, um, she, I think she's really cute. I really like her. She to me is ugly cute. She is an odd kind of sculpt. I think, um, her mouth, you know, if you can see it, it's kind of, it is open for sure. Um, it's, she's obviously sad or about to cry or bed crying. Um, but her expression is just a very interesting one, even though it's different and kind of odd. I love it because of that. Her hands are very expressive. They're both open. She's got one little finger here. I don't know if you can tell, but her first finger is curled down. And then this one here is all open. Kind of like when babies get mad, you know, if they're putting their hand out, like, um, all their fingers out. So that's kind of what she's doing. She can kind of put this one up to her little mouth. Um, I did cut a couple of pacifiers. They don't stay in well. She is not magnetized. Um, and I chose not to put one in there because they can kind of go in there. I do have a couple more pacifiers. I'm going to cut and see if they will go in her mouth better than the ones I chose just based on the shape of the nipple. So, um, I just thought she was cute. I look for good lips. I like good blushing. I like good ears and good hands. Those are my things I look for, either in um, silicones or vinyls. So I just think she's just really cute. I love her. I just love her newbornness and her redness. I have seen other dolls of her um, painted in different styles, like not so red. And her face just looks kind of mad. So I think it should be mad. Or, I mean, it should be red. Um, and you know, newborns just are generally reddish, purplish anyways. So I'm going to take her little pants off. Now, one thing I do, well, let me do the pants first just to show her skin. Okay. So these are the pants. Don't you think those look pretty big, pretty big for a newborn, but I think Kate Quinn just runs quite large. They have been washed. Um, so anyways, here's her little legs. They are pretty curly. Her little toes on this foot are all curled in. These ones are kind of curled, but they are, this one's separate. And then these two are separate. And these two, these ones are all kind of stuck together. 
So can you see all the motley on her? Let me see if I can hold her up just a little bit more. There. I don't know if it'll catch it, but yeah, that hurts a little. So we'll put her back down. Um, but you can see all the motley and I just, I love it. And see how her feet are redder than her legs. And here's her little arm, very modeled again. And the hands are a bit redder than the arm. I, I think that's very newborn. Um, I just think she's beautiful. I like feeling the sculpt sculpting was done. Like I can feel like the brow bone, the scrunched up little area here. She has like a soft spot and like a, a little bit of an indent here like babies have. And you know, you can feel where that would be. You can feel just the different little, um, I don't know if you'd call it not really folds, but how her face is, you know, when it's all scrunched up like that, how it would just kind of pucker and stuff. I just think it's so pretty. So this sculpt is called uh, Lucia, I think is how you say it, Lucia or Lucia by Adri Stoetti. Um, and she even came with the COA. So even though she's old, they had the COA, which I think is great. I was really excited about that. Um, she was a limited edition back in 2018 of a thousand. So, um, I don't know who painted her, but I think they did a nice job. Um, like I said, the hair is not the greatest. She does have a little shine. Like, I don't know if it'll pick up, but the ends of her fingers are just a little shiny. Her feet are a little shiny. Now I could take some of my, um, air dry, uh, varnish, my matte sealer. And I probably would just give it a little test, maybe on a foot and make sure it, it dried okay, because I assume she is heat set, especially back from 2018. Um, but I could use it over, like, her foot and just see if it helps, uh, you know, make sure it doesn't, like, I could probably just do the bottom and see if it helps and make sure it doesn't, like, look gross. Sometimes it, it peel like, it looks, um, I've done it before on dolls, and it looks uh, flaky, I guess. And so, you know, I wouldn't want to ruin everything. So just a little test area would be good. I have not gotten the ambition to do that, um, but it's something I could do to help keep her looking, um, you know, no loss of paint, keep her looking good. But I did just give her the lashes and I adjusted her, one of her arms wasn't um, moving in the body. And so I adjusted that and obviously her neck um, I did have to change around some stuffing because of the the heaviness of the beads here. Obviously, the stuffing that she had come with was not enough, so I had to put... And she had really good stuffing, the super soft, angel soft stuff. So that is in her body here. And up by her neck, I did put the firmer stuffing to give her a little bit more support up here. Otherwise, she was just super floppy. So she holds... Let me see if I can... She's pretty good. This is pretty much how I... Oops, sorry. I like them to be. Um, so... I am just, I just love her a lot. So this is, I guess, bringing me back to vinyls. Um, since I have looked for other dolls to replace my Greta with a vinyl, um, and I like some of the older sculpts. Um, I had one by, also by Adri, way back when I first started collecting. It was the Nina sculpt. Um, I really liked her. I had one that was done super well. But, you know, along the way I sold her. I did find another one for sale with rooted hair. Um, however, I haven't purchased her. I'm also really interested in the Emmy. I think it's how you say it. Sculpt by Casey Brace. Cassie Brace. Um, and uh, I think that one's really pretty. I found a really nice one of them. I, I also um, like the Quinby by Laura Lee Eagles. I think she's really cute. And Twyla, kind of. Um, I think I like Twyla. Quinby a little bit more. I do find that I like the mouth open just a little bit. I think I prefer those. I do like the scrunchy faces, um, although I don't think Quinby is quite as scrunchy. Um, Emmy, not quite as scrunchy either, but um, Nina is. Um, however, I hesitated to get her, Nina, because I've already had that sculpt and I knew what it looked like. I knew what it felt like, um, how big it was. I, you know, it wasn't as much of a I don't know, fun surprise, I guess, as her, because I've never had her, but I had wanted her um, years back when she came out, and I just never got her. But any doll that I've had that's been sculpted by Adri Stoetti, I have been impressed with the work. There are some 
artists, um, sculptors that I don't care for that much because of, of you know, certain details that I really like are missing. Um, but I do find that her work I enjoy. I enjoy Cassie Brace or Cassie Love, whatever she's going by now. Um, uh, I've had a couple Laura Lee Eagles that I've mostly liked. Um, and I've had Bonnie Brown. There's no sculpts by Bonnie Brown right now that I really want, but the ones that I have had in the past, I do enjoy how she sculpts delicately. I think they're hands. I really like their hands. Um, so, I mean, that, like I said, that's one of the things I really look for. So, you know, there's a few sculptures that I will purchase. There's a couple other sculptors that I like, and every time I see a doll that's sculpted by them, I'm like, ooh, that's, that's a good one, or, you know, maybe one to look at. But I've never, in all the years I've, I've been collecting, I've never pulled the trigger on anybody else. Um, so I am trying to tell myself to pull in the reins. Um, you just got this baby. I got her on Monday. And um, she doesn't even have a name yet. Um, so, you know, don't go crazy. You can go buy in another couple babies or anything enjoy the one you have appreciate the one you have you don't need two or three or four one you know one is good that's why i have decided to sell greta um i still have macy and I, yes i decided to go with macy my gloria sculpt i still have her i still have olive my jade sculpt um but again they are very very similar in size so i'm kind of thinking wondering if i should just keep choose one of them um you know because like, like i said sometimes one is enough one sometimes for me is better than four you know i pay more attention to the one um but you know i started loving vinyls years ago um i've always loved dolls and then i kind of strayed away when i got into silicones i never thought i'd like a silicone until i got my first one a few years ago and I really have, and I still do. But now, just for durability issues, for dressing issues, also the fact that I can weigh them how I want, where silicones, you know, they weigh what they weigh, unless you get a partial, which I've not been a super big fan of. Um, but unless you get a partial silicone, they weigh what they weigh. And uh, that's just the way it is. But these guys, you know, I can put less weighting in the arms or legs or the head or the body. You know, I can really customize it. The lady that had this doll that I just purchased her from did reweight her, and she does like them. She did like them heavy. Her head is stuffed with weight, and her body was too. Her limbs, though, aren't bad. They are only up to about the halfway point, which is right where I put it. She did make her head a little heavier than I would, and obviously her body since I took it out. But I can adjust that. That's the cool thing about vinyls. Um, I do feel too like I can leave her out like if I want to sit her on my bed or if I want to put her we have a baby seat now since I am babysitting an infant we have a couple things I can put her on that seat and um, leave her out and I'm not afraid that you know something's gonna scratch her or tear her or you know a cat's not accidentally gonna be playing and mess with her if, it, if they mess with her you know they could scratch the paint but I do keep her dressed. But, you know, a cat claw getting down into the silicone, I just I just worry about that. Um, so I don't know. Am I, you know, it's like a, this is like a, what do I call it, a cyclic, cyclic, I don't know, kind of thing, you know, a cycle. Started with vinyl, never thought I'd go to silicone, switched to silicone. Probably didn't think I'd go back to vinyl, got rid of all my vinyls, but a couple, um, now I literally have one. I do have a couple dolls I'm still trying to sell that I've been trying to sell a long time. But I've got one that I want to be a keeper. Um, and then her now. Um, and so, you know, now I'm kind of thinning down some more silicones. I don't know. It's like a cycle. And then, you know, later on, will I again be into silicone? It's hard to tell. But for now, um, I purchased her and I am enjoying her a lot. She's cuddly. I wanted to say that. When I am holding her, you know, her legs, let me just see if I can hold her up a little. If I put her arms correctly, she's, I got it, her arm up a little. She's been up, there we, there we go. Anyways, when I'm holding her, I can, you know, kind of fix her how I want. 
Look at how she curls. Isn't that sweet? You see? Kind of. Look at her little legs, how they just kind of curl together and her, they're kind of, you know, like bow-legged. Not sweet. She just holds so nice. So if I decide to get any other vinyls at any point, I would like one that does curl like that because I just really love it. Um, I'm really loving her sculpting and her um, cuddliness. So I just want to show real quick, beside that COA, she came with a little hat. She came in this cute little, oh, I didn't snap it, um, this little Burt's Bees sleeper. It's a newborn size Burt's Bees. I have found that Burt's Bees runs a bit big also, so that was, you know, good for her. And she came with this pretty little stretchy swaddle blanket. So that's what she came with. She was just, you know, obviously dressed and wrapped in these. Um, just a couple things that I have debated putting on her since I haven't dressed a vinyl um, a newborn size vinyl for a long time. This might fit her. Um, this is a Harry Potter outfit from H&M that I've had a while. Um, I think that's cute, especially if I can get a hair bow that, and I have one, I'm sure, but put a hair bow on her that makes her look more like a girl because it is slightly boyish. Um, but I haven't put that on her. I just put this on her when I got her and left it because I really liked it. This is super cute little sleeper kind of thing with this ruffle. Um, it's got deer. Yes, those are deer on there. Just really sweet, I thought. Really cute. That's newborn, I think. And then this is um, just a uh, terry cloth um, one piece crossover by Rabbit and Bear. This is zero to three, I think. Yeah. So this would be slightly big on her. But Think, you know, I think it would be fine, but it's short sleeved. I I don't dress my babies according to season. I dress them according to what I want to see them in. But this would be nice for now since it's chilly, but still look pretty nice out. Um, but again, I really liked her in this little apple outfit, so she's just remained in there, and I will keep her in that for a while. I am not done with that yet. Um, I still want to see her in that. Um, I haven't even put a bow on her hair like a headband. I'm sure she'd fit headbands really nice, but I haven't even, because I really like her in her little bonnet too. So that's pretty much all I wanted to um, show today and talk about today is her and the fact that um, maybe I'm getting back into vinyls a little bit. So we'll see. I'm going to continue to snuggle her and, uh, you know, debate whether I really want any more and if I want to get rid of another doll and buy me a different one. Um, with the Greta, the, what I made from her, um, I am purchasing us a new bed, so that will be exciting, something I think very useful for us, especially since my you know back is bad. My husband is getting older too and doesn't have the greatest back, so I think that is a good a good use of our money. I'd really, <laughs> I'd really like to buy a doll, but I don't know that that's the best use of our money. Um, so anyways, that I think is what I'm going to do. And I also want to take time to appreciate her before I jump in and get obsessed again and buy more vinyl dolls. So I am trying to play it cool and not go overboard like I tend to do. That is, that is me totally. So I'm trying not to do that. I also have a few other dolls that I would like to get rid of. These are like Cabbage Patch Kids and stuff that um, I love. Um, I really like Cabbage Patch Kids, but I don't play with them. I don't hold them. I don't dress them. I don't do any of that with them. I just like to look at them, and they're nostalgic. Um, but I'd like to, again, keep a couple and probably get rid of the rest. So it will free up a little room in my bedroom and also... I just don't need that many, though I like them. And every time I see one somewhere, I kind of think, oh, should I get it? No, you have plenty. So, um, it's just me. It's how I operate. When I like something, I like it a lot, and I want it a lot. So I'm trying not to do that with these dolls again. Um, like I said, I have found two or three more that I think I could really like. At least, at least two. Um, but I haven't, I haven't pulled the trigger and I think we're, like I said, I'm going to get a mattress and, you know, a better sleeping area for us instead, since this one is old. 
Um, but it's very tempting not to purchase another one. So I think I've said enough. Um, give me a minute. I'm going to turn the video off, but it's going to take me a minute to get up off this bed since it is so low to the floor and I am not very agile anymore. But I did it. So I will say there we are. Bye-bye till next time. Thanks for watching.